Boys and Girls Fest at San Lucie County Virtual Club. I'm Miss Alex. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Jacqueline and I'm going to be working with Miss Alex in doing a watercolor painting. She's going to start it off and I'm going to finish it off. Let's see what we can create together. Today we're going to be doing a watercolor painting. Always make sure to get your parent or guardian permission before starting any kind of art project. So today you will need a piece of paper, your paint palette, I'm using a sponge paintbrush and just a regular paintbrush. You will also need a bowl or a cup of water and some paper towels to dry off your paintbrush. I'm going to be doing a um, kind of like a changing season scene as, as you see on the wall behind me. I've got some trees, they've got some leaves changing, color changing, um, and how we're going to... So we are going to start off with opening our paint palette. Now, I usually like to start with the grass, just I work from the bottom up. I find that easier for me. So I'm gonna start with the grass. We're gonna wet our paintbrush, make sure it's nice and soaked. I'm gonna choose my green. I like this really grassy green color. Make sure you get your paintbrush nice and green so we can see that grass really pop. And then we're just gonna, we're just gonna make some strokes. Just make some strokes until that color runs out, right? Just keep going up and go down. Make sure you get that covered. You can wanna see how it's doing the different uh, angles. That's what grass does, so. <laughs> We're gonna do some more green. Make sure you get that really, that color really soaked into it. We're just gonna go right back in and we're gonna make those different strokes. I can go up and down. You can go side to side if you want to, if you're feeling a little different. Does not matter, just get that grass going. Get that grass color growing. And then we got some grass. If you see some spots where it's not um, green as you like, you can always go back in. Make sure your paintbrush is nice and wet and just get some more of that green. And then just go right back over it to get that green color really popping. That grass. So we're going to clean our brush get that green out because we're going to switch colors. Dry it off just a little bit because it's watercolor. You don't want it dry. Okay. And then we're going to go in with our brown for the trees. Now trees are all different. They don't have to be the same so it's okay the sizes. We're just going to go up. Make some trees, it's beautiful. And they all don't have to be the same size. They are all different lengths, sizes, widths, all that good stuff. And there we have our seasons, summer, spring, fall, winter. So thank you, Miss Alex, for starting off the water painting picture. I'm actually gonna jump on and work as a team to finish it off. Um, as you see, we switched out the water because now we're gonna go into doing our, uh, our seasons. Now you don't have to do seasons if you don't want to. Um, as you know, there are four seasons we have fall, winter, spring, and summer. So think of a color that you think kind of goes with winter or fall. So we're gonna dab our paintbrush. Just, you don't want too much water in the water paint because then it's gonna be too overbearing. But let's see, with fall, I think I'm going to do, let's see if we could do a little bit of a reddish color. You're just gonna dab your paint. And what I like to do, you could do different strokes, 
but I am actually going to do dabbing. I'm gonna dab it to kind of get a little bit more of that effect to it. So you could dab it. Do you see how it kind of just absorbs into the paper but makes it a little bit more like a flake. It'll have like a flakiness to it. So you could dab it. Now you don't have to do it this way. Okay. So next up, we are going to do winter. So I think for winter, let's see, maybe like a dark, like an icy blue. Let's see if we could do an icy blue. So we're gonna go with this beautiful icy blue. And think of winter, as you see, you have icicles, snow, Think of frozen. What does frozen do? She freezes everything, so we're gonna freeze our our tree here. And you're just gonna dab it. And it's okay if you're if you blend in the two different colors together. As you see, I'm overlapping the leaves, and that's perfectly fine. So you have that icy blue. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. So you have two trees down. Now we're gonna go into our spring. Let's see, when we think of spring, what color should we choose? Let's go with a orange. Well, let's go with the pink. Like a pinkish color. Might need a little bit more water. And then we're just gonna dab it as well. Again, it's okay if the water just kind of squirts onto the other tree. But we have this beautiful pink. And then last but not least, we are gonna be doing summer. So when I think of summer, I think of bright colors. So let's go ahead and do a, a yellow color. So kind of represent the sun, sunny days on the beach. And then we're gonna go ahead and dab our yellow on there. Now again, you don't have to use these exact colors you're gonna be using your own imagination of what colors represent each season. Or if you don't wanna do seasons, you can just randomly pick your favorite colors and I'm pretty sure they'll still be as beautiful. Okay, so we have our four trees here. Now, if you wanna get a little bit more detailed in the trees, you're more than welcome to kinda of do tree branches. And it's just small strokes, so maybe we can use a little bit of the brown that we used before for the tree trunk. And we can just kind of do little lines. Little lines, random little lines. Can't really see them, but that's okay. It's just to give it that effect and if it's too dark like this, you can always go back and redo your, your leaves to make it blend a little bit, which I might do that with the icy blue. So you just go back, blend it in a little bit. So I hope you guys had fun doing our watercolor trees with Miss Alex and I. Behind me is a couple more examples that you can do. We decided just to do a little quick one so that you guys can enjoy with your family and siblings. If you like what you see and you enjoy this project, please go ahead and comment below and tag us on Boys and Girls Club of St. Lucie County. Did you know there's over 50 videos just like this on our website at bgcofslc.org under video archives? It includes science experiments, trivia, workout videos, and story time. Go check it out. See you next time. Bye.